Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy or duplicate a page in Elementor. And while this is a very straightforward thing to do, uh, it's not immediately obvious to a lot of people. So I figured I'd create this tutorial and show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and hop on in here. Uh, we're gonna be working with my website at like, comment, subscribe .club. Um, And what we're gonna do is go into our WordPress admin dashboard. We're gonna find a page that we wanna duplicate and I'm gonna show you how to do, uh, duplicate it or copy it. So let's work with the sample page here. Uh, we'll edit that with Elementor. And what we're gonna do, it's actually very straightforward, is down here under Save Options, we're gonna save this as a template. So we'll give this page a template name. We'll call this uh, uh, Test Page. So we'll save that. Okay, and now that's in our templates section okay and just so you know what this page looks like uh, this page is cool uh, there's some words there's a little bit of a, a review widget down here um, and that's about it so let's take this and apply it somewhere else on our website so we'll exit to the dashboard and uh, let's make a new page and we'll call this another page okay and we'll edit this one with Elementor. And if we want another page to look the same as sample page, all we have to do is instead of clicking to add a, a, some type of structure, dragging a widget, uh, you can click on this folder right here and go to your My Templates, click on your test page and insert that. Uh, it's saying that um, it might override other settings that you have. We know that that's okay. We want this to be a duplicate and that content has now been added as it was on sample page to this, you know, another page. So that is uh, internally within WordPress, like one single domain name, how to duplicate a page. You can also do this from one WordPress website to another WordPress website. So uh, across domain names, and I'm gonna show you how to do that next. So um, same, same type of thing. First, you wanna create the template and then when we go back into, well, let's publish this page just so we have that. Um, let's go back into the WordPress admin dashboard and you'll see under the templates section here uh, that we have our test page as one of our templates. Now we can um, export this template and that'll download as a JSON file. And we can take this JSON file and upload it to another Elementor website completely different domain name and apply that there. So uh, right now, again, we're on like, comment, subscribe club. If we go to swampview.com, another one of the websites that I manage, let's go into the dashboard here. We do have Elementor installed. Uh, so let's go into the template section and we will add a template. Well, we'll import a template, I should say. Let's choose that file from our downloads folder. And that's this one, elementor.json file. We'll open that up, import it, and now we should have that after a few seconds as a template on this page. So uh, we'll click back here. We have the test page as a template. Let's go to our pages. We will add a new page. Uh, we'll call this yet another page. We'll edit that with Elementor. And same as before, we just uh, click on the folder here and go to my templates and we have our test page template here. We'll insert that and there we go. So same content, this page is cool, the paragraph and then the reviews down here. Uh, looks a little bit different because the, the header or the, the margins are wider, but the content has been imported. The page has been copied across domains. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. I have a lot of other Elementor videos over here, so check those out. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.